All right, so today it is foundation Friday. This is where I try out a new foundation every single Friday on my channel, 6 p.m. Pacific time. We have a new foundation by Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Foundation. That's what it's called. So this foundation has one fluid ounce of product, which is standard, and it retails for $14.95 on Physician Formula's website. So reading some of the claims on Physician... Why am I having such a hard time saying Physicians, physicians Formula? Physicians... Have I been saying physicians, physician formulas? So reading some of the claims on their website, it says it's a long wearing, buildable, breathable foundation that provides lightweight, medium to full coverage with a healthy satin finish. Compatible with all skin types. It has brightening complex and hyaluronic acid, hypoallergenic, fragrance free, paraben free, blah, 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 blah and cruelty free and vegan. It comes in 16 shades, which is a major step up for Physicians Formula. Their foundations usually only come in like three shades, maybe even less than that sometimes. So I have the two lightest shades, LC1 and LW2. So LC1 is obviously cool, LW2 is warm. They don't have an LW1 shade. I'm guessing if they're starting at LW2, hopefully they'll come out with an LW1 shade maybe, but I'm wearing the shade LC1. I'm gonna start swatches right here of the two lightest shades compared to some of the other foundations I own. All right, so swatch time. The first two is the Physician's Formula Foundation in LC1 and then LW2. Next over is CYO Life Proof in the lightest shade, Dermacol 208, Laura Geller Cover Lock in Porcelain, and Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. I talk more about the packaging and everything in the demo, so let's get into it. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. If you're excited for this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Here we go. All right, so it is 9.30 in the morning, filming this on December 18th, for those of you following along the skin progress. So I've already washed and prepped my skin. I'll leave the products I've been using down below. I would say right now my skin is more just normal dry. Not super, super dry or anything, but I haven't been getting oily throughout the day. So on half my face, I'm gonna use my Ego Tool sponge. This color just reminds me of like Barney. And then on the other half, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I need to clean all my brushes before I leave on this trip. I'm gonna try the lightest shade, LC1. Packaging of this feels really nice. It has a nice weight to it. Oh, twists off, I thought it was a pull off. Oh dang, is there no, oh, there's a wand, what the heck? Oh, hell yeah, this is like the Clinique wand. Whoa, that is not what I was expecting. The whole healthy foundation thing kind of reminds me of the CoverGirl Vitalist and just the description of this and everything. So this is supposed to be medium to full coverage. I'm actually going to start on this side. I always start on this side. Let's switch it up. So I'm just going to go in and swipe. I don't know how much to use with this. Let's start with that. There's not a whole lot coming out on each swipe. I'm going to start out with the brush on this side. The finish looks really nice. Looks like a satin finish. With that amount, looks like about high medium coverage. It's not covering all of my scarring and freckles. It looks like nice natural coverage. Like I would wear this amount out, but I do want to see if I can build it up a little bit. But let's do the forehead first. It feels like it's almost between like a gel and a liquid. It feels a little bit similar to the Rimmel. 24 hour foundation. It has that kind of gel feel to it. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna really slide around and it does have a stick to it right now, but we'll see if it sets a little bit. That's looking nice. Yeah, it's sitting on the skin beautifully. I'm liking this. Okay, let's try the sponge on this side. If you want more coverage, brush is definitely the way to go with this one. That's looking like light coverage. Yeah, wow, that was a big difference. Look at that side compared to that side. Okay, I'm switching to brush for sure. I might go back in and smooth it out with a sponge, but to get the kind of coverage and everything I like, brush is definitely the way to go for me. It says it's fragrance free. It does have a, a scent, but it doesn't smell like a fragrance scent. It just has a little bit of a, I don't even know what it smells like, like leaves? What does it smell like? It smells like something you use in like cooking. Not that I ever do that. So right on the center of my forehead, it seems like it's having a little bit of trouble sticking right there. I'm gonna try and use a sponge with this. Yeah, it doesn't seem to wanna stick right there, but everywhere else, looking really nice. I just wanna see if this builds right here. It doesn't really seem to build a whole lot more, so I think this is one that I would just put on a little bit more product if I wanted more coverage right off the bat. But I like the way that this is looking on my skin. In the viewfinder, it looks a lot more pink. In real life, it doesn't look 
that off. Right now, it is looking beautiful. It looks very natural. I love the way that it's sitting on my skin. Coverage, I would say solid high medium coverage. I couldn't blend powder products on top of this right now. Lately, I've only been setting this part of my face, so I think I am gonna do that so that I can put on my bronzer and everything. So it's now 9.45, I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so it's now 10.06. I need to change my background. We're still in fall over here. 10.06, rest of my makeup's on. I just did something really natural, natural-ish, because I have a bunch of errands to run today. I'll tell you guys what's on my face, but first, foundation's looking really great. I think it looks beautiful. Like I said, I did set this part of my face with my Laura Geller powder I always use and everything blended out beautifully. But looking at everything up close, it looks like it's creasing a little bit around my nose area starting to. So hopefully that doesn't get worse throughout the day. On the rest of my face for bronzer, I use the Catrice Prime and Fine Contouring Palette. This is in Ashy Radiance. And I also use the highlighter in here. Why the heck? Do I never use this? This is beautiful. For eyeshadow, all I did was put the same shade into my crease and then I put this on the inner corner. For blush, Ciate Summer Love. And then for lips, all I used was this MAC lip gloss in the shade under the sheets. This is such a pretty lip gloss. That's what's happening right now. So next check in I do will be in natural lighting. I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, so I just filmed the intro and I just wanted to let you guys know I was kind of doing like a closed mouth smile kind of thing for the thumbnail. And I did get a pretty big crease. I think you can see it on the viewfinder. So just wanted to note that I also have a little one starting right here. So hopefully it doesn't crease anymore, but we will see. Okay, so it's now 1.40. So it's been on for a little, uh, four hours. Dude, look at this highlight. I can't get over this. Okay, let's talk about foundation. So I am getting creasing on my upper lip and in that area that I showed you guys. And it's looking a bit more matte right now mostly just in this area and like my chin and stuff it doesn't look quite as dewy more of like a satin matte i think that's in focus i don't know why it's having issues so there's creasing right there and right there a little bit not horrible i'm getting a few lines right here i don't usually crease like around this area that much but i'm creasing right there a little bit right there i wouldn't say the creasing is horrible or anything right now but it has only been on for like four hours so my forehead still looks good. No major separation or anything on the center. So overall, it still looks pretty good. I just don't usually get this much creasing four hours in, but we will see how it looks by the end of the night. All right, so I just walked in the door. It is 8.40, so it's been on for about 11 hours at this point. Overall, it seems like it's gotten more matte throughout the day, which is kind of odd. Not in a good or bad way. It just kind of doesn't look quite as flattering as it did before. It seems like wherever I've kind of moved my face, it just kind of stays. It almost looks like I have pitted, like pitted acne scarring or something. I'm gonna zoom in. I do definitely have some bumps and stuff right here, but it's kind of like settling into any of the places that as I talk, it's just kind of stayed right there. I don't think it's really showing up. I definitely feel like it's looking a little bit better on camera it doesn't look bad my forehead doesn't look bad but it has looked better it just looks a little bit like dry or something almost to me i don't hate it i don't love it i just feel like i have for my skin right now i have foundations that i like a bit better on but it doesn't look bad and i could see this working really well for some people i can't tell if this would wear well on oily skin because of the fact that it's kind of like mattified oddly throughout the day or if my skin is just dry, so it's like kind of soaking up some of the moisturizing properties in this foundation. I don't know, man. What do you guys think of this one? Let me know down below what you think. But not bad. I like the shade and everything, and it hasn't oxidized throughout the day, so that's good. I think if I set my face with one of my moisturizing setting sprays, like the Too Faced 3-in-1, that might help the situation. So that might be something that I would try. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Foundation Friday every single Friday. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.